Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Ah, all this delicious Halloween candy. Smell that sweet success. Molly, Halloween was like, I don't know, at least a month ago and you still have candy? It's probably old. I eat up, I, I want candy. No, you guys can't have my candy. It's my candy. Mine, mine, mine. Molly, it's going to go bad before you can eat it all. You could give some to baby Q. Besides, she didn't really go trick-or-treating because she was still too little. Well, too bad for her. I did all this work and it's my candy. Mine, mine, mine. Oh, baby Kiwa, I'm sorry Molly's so selfish. If I hadn't have traded all of my candy in for healthy snacks, I'd give you some of mine for sure. I just, I just want a piece of chocolate. I know, I'm sorry baby Kiwa. Okay, I feel sad. You don't buy the double, you don't buy. Mmm, this Halloween candy is delicious. I've got to find a place to hide it that'll be safe. Because I bet you Daisy's going to want to steal some. Oh, um, where can I put it? Oh, I know. I can put it in here. Um, where can I put it? Um, uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'll put it in the cabinet in here inside the bathroom. <laughs> no one would ever think to look there for candy. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? Two people who don't have Halloween candy. <laughs> Molly, can you stop rubbing it in? I mean, baby Q is sad that she couldn't have any chocolate. Well, maybe next year she can go trick-or-treating. But you have to wait 11 months until then. <laughs> Molly, are you torturing your baby sister? Leave her alone. Or else you're going to be grounded. Grounded? What do you mean? I didn't do anything. Molly, I will make you do these dishes every day for a year if you don't behave yourself. Okay, Mom, okay. Sorry, baby Kira, that I was being rude. It's okay. I just, I, I just want candy, but I, I don't got to have candy. Well, it's time to head off to school. Ah, I'm so glad I got up early so I could chill a little bit. That science test has really been stressing me out. Bye, baby Kira. Bye, Mom. Have a good day at school, girls. Bye. Uh, last one of the school is a rotten egg. I'm not a rotten egg, Molly. You are if you don't get to the school last. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Ugh, is this school day over yet? I keep thinking about all that delicious candy. Candy, 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 candy. Blah 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 I'm going insane I can't take any more school Blah 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 I gotta make the basket Hey Molly It's the last class of the day Molly Wake up Molly Huh what Ah, why are you throwing a basketball at me? Hey, Molly, how was school today? Let me sum it up for you. Blah, 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 blah. I'm pretty sure your teachers didn't just say blah, blah, blah all today. Well, that's exactly what it sounded to me. I need some candy and stat. I can already taste it. It's going to be delicious. What? Where's my candy? Oh, wait, maybe I put it on the left-hand side. <laughs> maybe I put it under the sink. <gasps> my candy. It's it's missing. Daisy, where is my candy? What? What are you talking about? I don't know. Did you eat it all? Of course I didn't eat it all. I mean, I'd like to eat it all, but I saved some just because I knew today would be, well, schooly, and I, I, I knew I'd need some candy. Schooly, is that even a word? Let me Google it. 
Daisy, just give me my candy, now! I didn't take your candy. I don't even know where you're hiding it. But you know that I'm hiding it, which then means you know that I was hiding it. What? What are you talking about? I just figured you hid it because you're so greedy with it. And that's precisely why you decided to eat it all yourself. You owe me a million dollars. A billion dollars? <laughs> don't make me laugh. No candy's worth a million dollars. Molly's candy is. My candy's worth a million dollars! <laughs> well, even if it was worth a million dollars and I had a million dollars, I didn't take your candy. But, but, if you didn't take it, who did? Uh, maybe you just ate it all. No, I didn't. Fine, you don't want to admit it, you being a liar? Okay, fine, 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 and also fine. I'll just catch her on the security cameras. That's what I'll do. Yep, yep, yep. I need to go and put some security cameras up and, and then I'll catch my sister red-handed. There, this is perfect. Look at, sti look at my sister just standing there. She knows she's been caught. <laughs> Ooh, mom's making tacos for dinner, my favorite. Where is that bag of candy? Oh wait, look, there's me, hi. I don't see a bag of candy anywhere. It's gotta be somewhere around this house. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. I've lost all my candy. I found your, I found your candy. What, baby Kira? You found my candy? Oh, you're the best little sister ever. Can't believe Daisy stole my candy. Okay, girls, time for bed. You have school in the morning. Molly, what are you doing with that bag of candy? You can't take that to bed. Oh, yes, I am. Someone has been eating my Halloween candy. And, and, and if it wasn't for baby Kira, I would have never got it back. Molly, put your candy down. You're not taking that to bed. Fine, but if anyone steals my candy, it'll be all your fault. Oh, whatever, Molly. Nobody wants your stale Halloween candy anyway. She's just saying that because she's the one who took it. Molly, it's not nice to accuse Daisy. You don't know she was actually guilty. Oh no, I know she's guilty. I can see it in my mind. Mm. Daisy's the best Halloween candy ever. Mm. I'm eating all of Molly's candy mm. and it's delicious. Molly, snap out of it. Oh, sorry. Anyway, I just know that Daisy did it. I can see it. Well, until you can prove it, quit accusing your sister. Now put down that bag of candy and get into bed. Fine, Mom. Good night. Good night, honey. I love you. No one better eat my candy. No one better eat it! Wow, oh, what a beautiful morning. Wait, my candy. Where is that my candy? Where? Wait a minute. My candy's missing again, and you're up already. Of course I am. I always wake up at 6.15 every single day because I have a very, very busy schedule before I go in and be the best student I can be. Liar! You stole my candy! I did not. You are so rude. O-M-G. Well, you're about to get caught. I'm going to review all of the footage from this camera. Go right ahead. I was sleeping all night. All right, I'm logged in to the house security cameras. Huh, nothing looks strange here. Oh, there I am, sleeping. And there's... There's Daisy all snug in her bed, too. And who took my candy? <gasps> Some sort of monster! Daisy, do you think it was Mom? Of course it wasn't, Molly. Mom can afford her own candy. Wait, what is that? <gasps> is that baby Kira with my candy? Oh. My. Gosh! Evidence! Proof! Okay, Molly, I'm waiting for it. Waiting for what? Your apology? Oh, yeah, sorry and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't believe that baby Kira stole your Halloween candy. I know, I know. I'm gonna go confront her about it right now. Good luck, Molly! Baby Kira? I'm my... I, I just woke up. Oh, yeah. Um... I have a question for you, baby Kira. Okay, what am I? What are you eating? Oh, nothing. I'm just eating my tongue. You're eating your tongue? Seriously? That's the answer? Oh, four-year-old logic. 
So, um, did you sneak into my room last night and steal my Halloween candy? What? Me? No. Baby Kira, are you lying? Me? Why? Never. Baby Kira! Why is there chocolate all over your face then? I'm not talking. Well, what else could it be? Chocolate is chocolate. It even smells like chocolate in here. I don't know if I'm not chocolate. Baby Kira, I saw you on the security camera taking my Halloween candy. And I'm telling Mom. Mom! Baby Kira, you're getting a timeout. I want that, Mom. No! That was very naughty of you to take Halloween candy from Molly. And we do not lie in this house. So up in the chair, please. This is your timeout. So many timeouts over the years, I've lost count. I don't want to eat candy anymore. Oh, that's good because there's only one piece left. You ate all the rest of it. Oh, boy. I definitely need a vacation. Away from everyone. <laughs> hey, Mom. Maybe you should give yourself a timeout. <laughs> Very funny, Molly. Very funny. Molly! Molly! There you are, Molly! Why aren't you up in bed? It's it's almost 10 o'clock! I was watching the end of Brooke High and it's a really good episode! Molly, I don't care. Your bedtime is well past your bedtime! That's what I meant! I, I'm so tired I can't even think! Mom, why is it that old people are always so tired? Are you saying that I'm old, Molly? Are you saying that I'm old? Um, yes? Oh, thanks, Molly. That's such a nice thing of you to say. Well, you were getting all tongue-tied, and then you said you were really tired. I am really tired. I work all day. I take care of my kids. <sighs> it's a lot to do. Now, did you brush your teeth, Molly? Uh, yeah. I I sure did. Molly, are you being honest? Uh, yep. I, I definitely brushed my teeth. Okay, come on. Let's head up to bed. Molly, don't get into bed till you brush your teeth. Remember you said you didn't, and you do it later? Molly! Did you lie to me about brushing your teeth? Um, I forgot that I didn't brush them. Molly, that's such a lame excuse. I, 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 um, uh, I really did forget. Molly, go brush your teeth and don't lie to me. Or you're going to be grounded for like ever. Okay, fine. And really brush them. I will. Good morning, class. Good morning. Molly, did you bring your homework today? No. But I brought the animal who ate my homework. What? Why did you bring a dog to school? Because this naughty dog, um, and I don't even know whose dog this is, it just came into my yard and decided that my homework looked tasty. Didn't it, dog? <coughs> Are you blaming the dog for the fact you didn't do your homework? What? No, I wouldn't do that. <sighs> the dog ran away, which tells me you're not telling the truth. Otherwise, the dog would just hang out here. But no, it ran away. It thought it was going to get in trouble for eating your homework, which it didn't. But it did. I'm telling the truth. Molly, you're notorious for telling fibs. And I'm pretty sure this is another one. Dogs eat bones. They don't They don't chew on homework. Oh, Daisy's new soccer ball. It's going to be so much fun to play with. <laughs> wee, wee. Uh oh it's going to roll over the edge. No, wait, come back. Oh, oh, it ran over into town. And now it's definitely going to get hit by a car. Um, okay, I'm just going to pretend I wasn't playing with her ball. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. Molly, I looked everywhere outside for my soccer ball and I can't find it. Have you seen it? Who, me? No, why would I see it? Okay, no need to get defensive. I just thought maybe you had seen it. No, I wouldn't see it or I wouldn't play with it. And, and, and I wouldn't let it roll out into the road and get hit by a car. Oh my gosh, you're lying again. I'm not a liar. Yes, you are. You lied to everyone. You're so naughty and you fib all the time. Oh, really? Prove it. Ugh, Molly. You should see how it feels. It feels horrible to be lied to, even if it is just a little tall tale. Well, whatever. You can't prove it, and I'm watching my show right now. Bye! Molly! I have a good idea to teach Molly a lesson. She'll learn what it feels like to be lied to, and it doesn't feel nice. Good morning, Molly. Would you like a healthy piece of fruit for breakfast? You should start the day off right before school. 
What? No, I want Reese Cup cereal. That's what I have every Wednesday or Monday or Tuesday. Yes, I know you like to have Reese Cup cereal, but the bad news is Reese Cups will no longer be made. Wait, wh what? That's right. The company that makes your favorite cereal has gone out of business. No more Reese Cups or Reese Cup cereal for the rest of your life. Ah! That's terrible news! What will I have for breakfast? Like I said, sweetheart, how about a nice delicious apple? I, I'm trying not to cry over this, but I'm feeling very, very sad. Well, Molly, <laughs> that's just the way the cereal crumbles. Now, why don't you go get ready for school? It's almost time to get going. Uh, it's gonna be very bright and sunny out today, so don't forget your sunblock. Wait, what? Bright and sunny, it's the middle of winter. Yeah, but it's gonna be like 95 this afternoon. What? Something doesn't sound right about that. Yeah, don't forget your sunblock and brush your teeth. Fine, I'm wearing sunblock. Molly, I'm going to check and make sure you use some sunblock. Okay. Wow, she's bossy this morning. Well, I guess that's just how moms are. Can't believe my favorite cereal is no more. I can't believe I have to put the sunblock on in the middle of winter. This is just weird. Ugh, so far this day is going really badly. Okay, Mom, I put the sunblock lotion on you left in the bathroom. Ah, I mean, oh! <laughs> um, good job, Molly. What, what's, what's so funny? Oh, nothing. <laughs> um, I just can't look at you right now. You're very, um, cheery. Yeah, very bright. No, I'm not. I'm really sad about my cereal. Well, at least it's gonna be nice and warm outside. Wait, am I gonna miss the bus, Daisy? You already missed it. The bus is incoming and <laughs> you look great, Molly. What? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing, but you have to walk to school. The bus is incoming. What? Oh, that's like a two-mile walk. It'll be good for you, Molly. Good thing you put that sunblock on. <laughs> Wouldn't want you to get a sunburn. Yeah. <sighs> what a day. I didn't even eat breakfast, so I'm like starving. Why didn't you eat an apple, Molly? Apple, schnapple, apple. Miss my Reezy Cup cereal. I have to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Don't be late for class, Molly. Oh, what a day. Wah! Why is my skin bright pink? What is going on? Daisy! Daisy! I have bright pink skin! Why? Did you put something in the sunblock? Like, like Kool-Aid? Whoa, Molly, what happened to you? Somebody put Kool-Aid in the sunblock. Well, it certainly wouldn't be me. Are you lying to me right now, Daisy? Me? I wouldn't do that. Just like you wouldn't lie, right, Molly? Whoa, Molly, you look weird. Oh my gosh. This is the worst day ever. Yeah, but you can't miss class today because the teacher said if you miss class today, you will have in-school suspension all summer. What? Yeah, it's like summer school. You have to sit here and stare at the wall. Oh my gosh, I guess I guess I'm gonna have to face the world with this, this super pink skin. Okay, fine. Holy moly, Molly. What happened to you? Did you get a sunburn? No, somebody put pink Kool-Aid in the suntan lotion or sunblock or whatever it's called. Um, Molly, it's called sunblock, so you don't look like that when you go out in the sun. Well, it failed, apparently. Speaking of failing, I have a pop quiz for you all. And I'm hoping you all pass, or you have to go to in-school suspension for all the summer. You mean summer school? Pretty much, it's like prison. <laughs> Here you go, take a test. Holy guacamole, it's like a miracle. I know all the answers to this this pop quiz, this has never happened before. I'm going to get a perfect hundred on this thing. Oh yeah, <laughs> I guess this day isn't so bad after all. Okay everyone, time's up. Doesn't matter, I completed it already. Here you go. Wow Molly, you got done really quick, that's awesome. Well, I'll grade them right now and see if you're gonna sit in summer school prison. I got nothing to worry about because I did so good on that test, I can't even believe it. Okay, I've created them and well, <sighs> I had everyone do excellent except for one student. Ooh, what one student is it gonna be? <laughs> Feel sorry for them, summer school prison. Well, Molly, I'm very disappointed. You got every single one of these questions 
wrong. Wait, what? But I know the answers. I, I answered them correctly. Well, apparently you didn't, Molly. Yeah, Molly, so I'll be seeing you for summer school prison. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Daisy? <laughs> well, <laughs> I was just lying to you. You got a hundred. Wait, what? Yeah, and I put Kool-Aid in the sun black. What? Yeah, and your favorite cereal actually is still in production. Okay, now I'm just getting really sad and also angry. Why did you guys lie to me all day? Because, Molly, you fib and lie every day to us. We wanted to show you how it feels. It makes you sad and angry, doesn't it? It makes you feel cheated and, and, and like... Like, we don't respect you, doesn't it? Um, yeah. It kind of does. Well, Molly, maybe you should consider that because no one likes to be lied to. It feels really bad. Jeepers, I never thought about it that way. Well, maybe you could start by apologizing to the people that you lied to and then promise them that you won't do it again and really follow through. Okay, I'm sorry, Brookie. I'm, I'm sorry, Daisy. I'm sorry, Mrs. A. It's okay, Molly, but... We need to see your improvement in your lying. Don't worry. I see how it feels to be lied to, so I'm gonna work really hard not to do whatever again. Now, please don't lie to me. <sighs> Maybe I should ask you to lie to me. Tell me how long this Kool-Aid's gonna last on my skin. The truth, Molly, or a lie? Oh, the truth. At least a week. Oh, man! <laughs> You don't feel like going to school is what you don't feel like. Daisy, seriously, you do not want to see my bad side. Oh, whatever, Molly. Now you're like a demon or something. Come on, get out of bed. I'll meet you out of the kitchen so you can have breakfast. Oh, she's so loud. Oh, 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 I ran into the, oh, oh, I ran into the side of my bed, oh, oh, I think I have to go into the bathroom, splash some cold water on my face or something, oh, oh, oh maybe just have a little water here, oh, huh, huh, ah, shoo, oh, it's so bad to sneeze when you're actually holding a glass of water, because you'll spill it. What's your problem, Molly? Oh, I feel so sick today. Oh, yeah, right. You faked it before to try to get out of school. Then Mom took your temperature, and lo and behold, you were just fine. Oh, I don't feel so fine right now. Achoo! Oh, you probably just have some allergies. Here, drink some orange juice. You'll feel all better. Besides, we have big plans at school today, remember? Oh, yeah. The science fair thing. Okay, yeah. <coughs> Quit your faking, Molly. We have things to do. Now, what do you want for breakfast? Um, I'd like you to make it for me. I don't make you breakfast. Get up and make it yourself. Oh, rude. Nothing even sounds good for breakfast. <laughs> oh, I think I just have, like, one carrot. One carrot, Molly? That's not going to make you full. I did it, but it's up above it, yeah. I did it, but it's up above it. Uh-huh, okay, baby Kira, make your own breakfast. Molly, you're supposed to make baby Kira breakfast. Mom asked you. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> Molly, wake up. What are you doing? Come on, baby Kira. Uh, oh, my gosh, I have to do everything around here. Molly! What? What, 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 what? what happened? What happened? Is the house on fire? No, Molly, but you need to light a fire under yourself and get moving. Okay, yeah, I'll be right there. Okay, I'll be right there. I just gotta get ready. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, baby killer, just gotta go get Molly and then we can drop you off at JQ and we'll head to school. Molly? Molly, are you ready? Molly? Oh my gosh, Molly, you fell asleep in the bathtub! <laughs> You've been so lazy today! Lazy? I'm not being lazy. I'm really, really, really sick. Oh my gosh, Molly, I think you might be. You do look kind of terrible. Your eyes are all puffy and, and your face looks really ugly. Hey! What it does, Molly. You're really ugly when you're sick. You have horrible breath. Go brush your teeth. Okay, fine. Molly, I think you should stay home today and just rest and relax. Okay. <sighs> Molly? Are you gonna get back in your bed? What are you doing? Molly? Molly, are you sleeping while you brush your teeth? Oh boy, baby Kira, Molly is really sick. Okay, Molly, back to bed with you for sure. I'll tell mom you were really sick. Achoo! Thanks, Stacy. Have a good day. Bye. Baby Kira, come on, we're gonna be late. Uh uh, this is my crib. Baby Kira, why are you crying? Oh no, come here, little baby. Oh no, don't tell me you're sick too. Okay, well. Let me um, check your forehead and see if you're hot. Oh my gosh, you're burning up, baby Kira. Okay, right to bed with you then. Guess I'm the only one to go to school today. Okay, get in your bed, baby Kira. And I'll see you in a little while. Do you want some orange juice? I don't want it to papa. Okay, I'll put it in your papa for you, okay? I don't want it to papa. I don't want it Oh, she's already asleep. Poor Molly and baby Kira, they're both so sick. Well, I guess I better head off to school. I'll call mom and tell them that they'll stay at home today. Rest well, sisters, rest well. <laughs> well, she's gone. Time to get into my regular clothes. Baby Kira! <laughs> it worked! We tricked her! <laughs> Baby Kira, you weren't actually supposed to fall asleep. I did get your boy Jabba. Oopsie. <laughs> Baby Kira, guess what? You and I get to do fun things all day long. Do do do. All day long. Come on. First, we'll start by going and watching the brightly colored unicorn until our eyes hurt. <laughs> we fooled my sister, we fooled her, we fooled her. I just did my double woo! Fake sick, fake sick! Yeah, fake sick! <laughs> oh, guys, I forgot my homework! Um, don't let me bother you! Uh oh! I think we might get caught. Let's hide! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Guys, where were you? Wait a minute, why aren't you in your beds? Molly, baby Kira! I think your boy can't for fly, yeah. Baby Kira, what are you doing out of your bed? Come on. You're sick, you need to get back in your bed. <laughs> now, where is Molly? Do you know? I think your boy can't so bad. Oh, I'm feeling so sick. Oh. Molly, are you okay? Where were you? Oh, I just came in to get some clean pajamas and. I had to sit down in the laundry room. I'm so sick. Oh, boy, Molly, you better get right back into bed. Good idea. See you later, Daisy. Have a wonderful day at school. <laughs> Bye. Hope you guys feel better. <laughs> see ya. Huh, let's see. Maybe I'll work on my painting. <laughs> she never even knew it. Caught you, Molly. 
Are you sick or no? Wait a minute, you're not really sick, are you? You are faking it. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> really sick. Mommy! That's it, I'm telling mom you're getting grounded for life. Daisy, you better not! Of course I am, Marty. Faking sick. Naughty, naughty! Was Baby Kiwa faking too? Ah! Uh, you're both getting grounded! Mmm, those waffles delicious. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely need a midnight snack. Mmm, they are so good. Mmm. I might have to wash it down with some Reese's. <laughs> ah, I can't help myself. I'm a little bit of a pig sometimes in the middle of the night. Mm, so good. Okay, I guess I should go back to bed now. Okay, so if I do that equation and this one, then I'll understand all of the math homework for the next three years. Daisy, what are you doing? It's almost two o'clock in the morning. Well, what are you doing out of bed, Molly? Well, I came down to eat a snack. Because <laughs> I'm always hungry. And my stomach woke me up. It was like, grr, grumble, grumble. I'm hungry. Of course it did, Molly. Are you seriously doing homework for the next six months? Yeah, I like to get ahead on my schoolwork. I'm going to have all of the chapters done by the end of the week. Daisy, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Why are you doing homework now? That seems a little crazy to me. It's only crazy because you're not a good student. Uh, well, she has a point there. All right, well, I'm going to bed. Have fun with that. Wow, that's kind of weird. I've never seen Daisy doing her homework at 2 o'clock in the morning. She's getting a little crazy about it. Maybe I should tell Mom. I'll tell her in the morning. I'm too tired. No, I didn't do my homework, but Mr. Smith! How about I go to the water park instead? <laughs> ah, this is a life. Just chilling in the hot tub. Daisy! Daisy! I'd be right there, Molly! What's all that racket I'm hearing in the in the kitchen? Uh, nothing! Uh huh, yep, be right there! Daisy, come on, get in the hot tub! Oh, I can't, I'm busy. What are you doing with that wrench? Um, uh, the sink had a leak. You're not a plumber, you don't know how to fix a sink. Actually, I did a bunch of reading on it. It's super easy. Uh, okay. Well, get in the hot tub! I can't, um, I'll rust. Rust? What, what are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, if I hit water, I rust. <laughs> you are kidding, right? Uh, sure. Totally kidding. <laughs> okay, Daisy, you've been acting a little strange lately. Daisy? No, I, I can't talk right now. Uh, I've got to go do stuff. Bye. Daisy? My sister's been acting so strange. Oh, well, better go get ready for school. It's lunchtime, my favorite! Hi, Molly. Hi, Large Marge. How's your day going so far? Ah, uh, pretty good. I didn't get detention. Good job. So, uh, today I made pizzas and there's Doritos. There's also some healthy options. Healthy schmelthy. No, you have to take at least one healthy option. The school requires it. Okay, um, I guess I'm gonna have pizza, some Doritos, and an apple. How's that, Large Marge? Good. Let me have your meal ticket, please. Here you go. Hey, Molly. Hey, Brookie, look what we're having for lunch today. Ooh, pizza, my favorite. You and every other student. Okay, take your pizza and move along. Okay. Mm. As always, Large Marge makes the best pizza. Thank you. I've been a lunch lady for 70 years. No, you haven't. Unless you're a vampire. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not a vampire. I, uh... Um, something tells me Large Marge might be a little weird. No, I don't think she's a vampire. She was totally kidding, right? Yeah, exactly. Hey, what are you eating today, Brookie? Air? I don't see anything in your hand. Oh, no, I'm eating my pizza. I'm just kind of hiding it because Sarah the Bully has been trying to steal my lunch, so I don't want her to see that I have any. Oh, wow. 
da 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 My dreams of being a baton artist have to come true before I die. Marge, Marge, what are you doing? Nothing, I'm just cleaning. You didn't see anything. I thought she said she wanted to be a baton artist. Well, everybody's got dreams, even the lunch lady. Hey, Brookie, have you seen Daisy? Yeah, I think she went into the bathroom. She's going to miss all the pizza. What's she doing? Mm. Well, who cares? More for me. Molly, you should go check on her. Maybe she has, like, you know... <laughs> what's that? The farts? Um, an upset stomach or something. Oh, you mean the poo-poos? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I'll go check on her. Wait a minute. Why don't you go check on her? Because you're her sister? Yeah, you just don't want to go in there. I know it. Well, <laughs> it can be kind of smelly. Yeah, exactly. All right, fine. I'll go in. Daisy, are you okay? Daisy? Daisy, are you in one of these stalls? Daisy? Beep, boop, boop. Beep, boop, boop. Does not compute. What is that? Daisy, are you in here? No, nope, not in that stall. Daisy? Not in that stall. Boop, 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 beep, boop, boop, boop. Downloading information. Daisy? Ah! Daisy! What happened to your face? Ah! Daisy, your your face opened up and your 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 we are not supposed to let people know we are a robot. Who are you talking? Who's we? Us, the collective computer system. You must be eliminated. What do you mean eliminated? Like flushed on the toilet like a tutu? A doo-doo? A poo-poo? I can't even talk right now. Yes, you will be eliminated. Hold still for annihilation. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! 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 Brookie! Brookie! Run! What? What is it? Is it a fire alarm? Is there a fire? Stop pranking us, Molly. Daisy, I, I went into the bathroom and she was plugged into the wall. Wait, what? What are you talking about? You mean her cell phone? No, I mean she was. Her face was peeled back and she was a robot. <laughs> Molly, that's the biggest whopper you've ever come up with. <laughs> Daisy's a robot. No, I'm being serious. Brookie, get up. We've got to run. I'm not running oh, anywhere. Ow, I sort of hurt my neck. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> okay, yeah, that looked a little funny when you tried to get up from the table. But, okay, I'm being serious. Molly, look, Daisy's coming out of the bathroom right now, and she's totally normal. Pff, your pranks are ridiculous sometimes, Molly. Ah, Daisy! What? What is your problem, Molly? Why so jumpy? Because you're, you're, yeah, yeah. A what? She's a human, Molly. Now, come on. We better get to class. I don't know about this. Something seems strange. Oh, there's the bell. Well, I better get my books. I'm sure that I saw what I saw in the bathroom. Maybe I was just, well, seeing things or something. I cannot compute. Must learn more about this subject. Da Daisy? Oh, her face is peeled back again. I knew it. Daisy, you're a robot! I am the Daisy Bot 3000. Now that you know I am here, you must be eliminated. Wait, did you say you're the Daisy Bot 3000? Yes, I am a replica of the real Daisy. Wait a minute, so my sister has a robot? Yes, and now that you know about me, you must be destroyed. No, wait, no, ah, she's got a taser! Run! Why am I telling myself to run? Hold still, human. You will be annihilated. Ah! I wonder how all of my Daisy bots are doing today. I should check in on some of their footage. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll have a Daisy bot in every corner of the world. And then Daisy will take over. <laughs> okay, that sounded evil, even for me. All I have to do is use these machines I created to make more and more Daisy Bots. Every single Daisy Bot can have a job. Think of how rich I'd be! <laughs> yes, my plan is working. Violet and Scarlet 
will be awake any minute. I should probably make them some breakfast. Hmm, I wonder what they want for breakfast this morning. Oh, waffles would be delicious. That sounds good to me, too. Hmm, I love waffles. Hi, Mommy, good morning. Oh, Violet, hi, good morning. Did you have a good night's sleep? No, Mommy, I had an awful night's sleep. You did? Why, Violet, what's wrong? Because Scarlet was up all night getting in trouble. What? That doesn't sound like Scarlet. She was, Mommy, believe me. I don't think so. I think you're just trying to get your sister in trouble again. Here's a waffle, honey. Why don't you take this and eat it? I'm telling the truth. Set up a camera tonight and see for yourself. Please, Mom. Hi, Mom. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Um, Both of you are awake kind of early. I don't know why Scarlet is. She was so naughty. She should be asleep all, all morning. She didn't get any rest last night. What are you talking about, Violet? Yes, I did. Girls, no fighting. Now I need you both to eat your waffles and get your backpacks. It's time for daycare. Okay, fine, Mom. But tonight, you need to see what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. I'll meet you both in the car. The stretch limo? Ugh. Luke's car must have broken down, and so he took mine. Why did he rent me a stretch limo, though? That's a little bit crazy. Yeah, we can take a stretch limo to school. I'm riding at the sunroof. Uh, no, Scarlet, you're going to get in your car seat. Mom. Okay, Violet, get in and put on your seatbelt, okay? I'll probably sit in my car seat. It's the rules. Do you guys want to get pulled over by the police? I'll kill. Girls, get in. Okay, we're in, we're in. And remind me to talk to your father about renting us a limo. Pretty sure we didn't need this big of a car. Whoa, going the wrong way. <laughs> Oopsie. Mommy, you're the worst driver. Okay, yeah, maybe I'm a little bit of a bad driver, but it's because this this car is so, uh, it's so big. I uh, can't even drive it. Okay, here we go. Mom, what's that? You gonna take out that side. We're good, we're good. Can we listen to some music? I don't want to listen what she listens to. She just wants to listen to Baby Shark. Do, 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 baby Shark. Okay, guys, how about no Baby Shark? How about this? No, Mom, we want Baby Shark. Okay, girls, everybody out. Time for daycare. I have to get to work. Remember what we talked about, Mom? She troublemaker. She get it into mischief. What are you talking about, Violet? I didn't do anything wrong. Have a great day at school, Scarlet. Stay out of trouble. I try to, Mom. Bye, I love you. Love you too, girls. Wow, it does sort of sound like Scarlet to get into trouble, but would she be up at night when we're all asleep getting into mischief? <laughs> Look at... Scarlet mom fell asleep. She's so old. I know why she is really old. It's only nine o'clock. Huh? What? What? What'd your girl say? Mom, you fell asleep. No, I didn't. I didn't fall asleep. Yeah, you did, Mom. Okay, both of you upstairs. Come on, you need to brush your teeth and go to bed. Uh, mom, don't forget what we talked about with the camera. Well, I do sort of want, sort of want to see what Violet's talking about. All right, um... Let's go. Up to bed, everybody. We're coming, Mom. Mom, it's Daddy coming home. He'll be home late tonight. You know Dad works late, late on Monday. I miss him. I know you girls do. Okay. <sighs> Security camera is set. Girls, time for bed. Get in your pajamas, please. Night, night, tucked in tight. See you in the morning light. Night, night, turn off the light. See you in the morning light. I love when you sing that song, Mom. Good night, girls. I love you. Good night, Mom. Oh, I love you, too. Oh, I'm tired myself. What a long day. I'll review the footage in the morning. already 
Ugh, I guess it's time to make the girls breakfast. Mm, I'm still really tired. I need to get some coffee. Ugh, coffee makes everything better. Coffee makes everything better. Mom, oh, I'm so tired. I already told you this yesterday, but I'll tell you again. Scarlet kept me up all night making mischief. Violet, I love you, honey, but not before my coffee. Not before my coffee! Mom! Okay, fine. Just one more sip. One more sip. All right, honey, what is it? Did you set out the security camera so you could catch my sister making mischief? Mischief? I didn't hear any mischief last night. That's because you can't hear anything over the sound of your snoring. I snore? No, I don't. I don't snore. Yes, you do. Check the security camera. You'll see exactly what I mean. Okay, well, let's go look. O-M-G! What is Scarlet doing? I told you, she making troubles. Oh my gosh, I, I can't even believe this. She's gonna get grounded. I told you, Mom, she's so naughty. Yes, your sister is very naughty. I can't even believe this. Sneaking out, eating candy, jumping on the bed. Oh, what a little mischief maker. Bye, good morning. Oh, is it such a good morning? Yeah, I thought pretty good. OMG, Scarlet, I think you're gonna have a grounding from me. What? Why? What did I do? What do you mean, what'd you do? Last night you got out of bed, you ate Reese Cops, you jumped on the bed. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You totally did, Scarlet. And you were really loud. You kept me awake. Even more than Mom snoring. I didn't snore. Mom, you do snore. Yeah, Mom, you do. Okay, Scarlet, you're saying that you don't remember doing any of this? I don't remember anything. All right, girls. Well, come on. Let's get ready for school. Wow, that was a great movie and delicious popcorn. I dogged it, Mom. Can we watch another movie? No, it's time for bed. You both have school in the morning. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Violet, are you okay? So tired. Not sleeping good. Scarlet's keeping me awake all night. No, I'm not, Violet. I don't know why you're saying that. Mm. Such good popcorn. Mom! Sorry, I was thinking about the popcorn. It's sort of just my thing. Sometimes I also sit and think about cupcakes. Cupcakes! Mom! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Snapping out of it. All right, girls, come on. Let's go up to bed. Do we have to go to bed early? Yes, you have to go to bed. And it's not even that early. It's 9.30. Come on. In bed you go. Night, night. Cookie time. See you in the morning light. Mom, why are you singing that so fast? Because I really want you to go to bed early. <laughs> I need some me time. Now I'm going to wait outside the girl's door and see if Scarlet gets out and tries to cause mischief. <laughs> Where can I hide so she won't see me? I know. I'll hide behind this plant. She'll never even know I'm here. Um, time to get a snack. There she goes. She's getting a snack at midnight? Well, <laughs> she is my daughter. Sounds like something I would do. Oh, she is getting a snack. Soda? Oh, M.G. Scarlet, hold it right there. Wait a minute, are her eyes closed? Is she snoring while she drinks that Coke? What? Is she? Is she? Sleepwalking? Oh my gosh, I think she is. Scarlet, wake up! Scarlet, wake up! Okay, I definitely need to take her to the doctor first thing tomorrow. Mommy, why do we have to be here with the hospital again? I feel fine. I understand. We're here to see Auntie Daisy. And, you know, sometimes we have to see the doctor. I don't want to scare you or anything, but I think you're sleepwalking. What? <laughs> I'm funny, Mom. No, I'm not. I sleep all night through. Yeah, I know you're sleeping all night through, but you're also walking around and eating Reese's Cups and soda and jumping on the couch. Oh, 
Oh, hi! There's my adorable little niece. What brings you guys into the hospital today? Well, Dr. Daisy. Molly, you can just call me Daisy. I'm your sister. Uh, your niece here is, well, sleepwalking, I think. Tell me her symptoms, please. Um, she's sleeping. She gets out of bed with her eyes closed. She's still snoring. She's eating snacks and jumping on the couch. Yep, but that's definitely sleepwalking. Well, what can you do for it? I'm very worried about her. Nothing. Wait, what? That's why right, nothing. Just, uh, let her, you know, like, stay, uh, in a safe place. Like, you could lock her room or something so she can't get out. And eventually she'll grow out of it. Oh, so you're saying, like, just, like, lock her in a room at night? Exactly. Then she can't go down and eat snacks and, you know, get cavities in the middle of the night. What? I can't believe I'm sleepwalking. Don't worry, little niece. You'll grow out of it soon enough. Oh, man. Now I've got to go over to Lowe's and get a lock for the door. I don't want to stay by the same room as Violet. Yeah, I'm thinking that might be a bad idea, right, Daisy? You definitely probably want to separate the twins until Scarlet grows out of it. That way she doesn't keep her twin up all night. Well, thanks, Daisy. All right, Scarlet, I guess we have to lock you in your room so you don't get out and jump on the couch. Oh, I got to the car, because one time I remember waking up and I was actually in the car. Say what? Are you kidding me? No, not at all. Um, and also, uh, I was in a ditch somewhere. In a ditch with... Wait a minute, that explains a lot. Luke wasn't the one that had his car break down. You crashed it. Oopsie, sorry. Uh, Daisy? Are you sure there's not some sort of miracle medication we can give her for this? Nope, she just has to grow out of it. All right, well, Scarlet, let's go. But can we get ice cream on the way home? I promise I won't snore through it. <laughs> sure. I can't promise I won't snore through English class, though. Aw, uh, you're definitely my daughter. <laughs> No, Daisy, I get the pink unicorn. You can have the blue one. Molly, it's time to wake up. You slept right through your alarm. Oh, uh, no. No, I can't go to school today, Mom. I, I, uh, I've got bird flu. Molly, no, you don't. You don't look sick at all. I can't go because I've got chicken pox. Molly, you don't even have a single spot. Get out of bed and come downstairs for breakfast right away. Uh, okay. Uh, who would have thought that school would have been every single day, Monday through Friday, for so many months? <sighs> who came up with that idea anyway? <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Did you fall down the stairs or something? What's happening? Oh, ma, I'm so sad, but I just got a call from the school. School is canceled. What? I didn't get a text or a call from the school. That's because they only send one call out per family. Otherwise, it just takes forever to call every student. Maddie, they would just text all the students in one mass text. They wouldn't call. Your lies are ridiculous. Molly, are you lying to me right now? No, I mean, I'm so sad school's canceled. She's lying. Molly, get your breakfast and get ready to get on the bus. Or else... Fine, cheapers. Mmm, breakfast pizza. Uh, Molly, I didn't make any breakfast pizza. Nah, this is just a leftover pizza from last week, but if you eat it for breakfast, then it becomes breakfast pizza. <laughs> oh, boy. I go good today with my and Daisy. Um, baby Carrie, you're too little. You can't go to school. What? Oh, my God. Oh boy, this again. Mmm, this pizza's delicious. I gotta go get dressed though. Bye! I want to go, I want to go! I got backpack, I go go do. Um, baby Kara, you can't go to school yet. You're not old enough, honey. You're still just a little toddler. Yeah, baby Kara, besides, there's a lot of big kid stuff that happens like homework. Math and science, riding the school bus. 
gonna be a long day okay baby Kara come on let's go change your diaper Daisy the bus is here Molly I'm standing right behind you oh <laughs> I didn't even hear you were like a sneaky ninja yeah that's definitely me sneaky ninja um well you're more like a nerdy ninja but you know <laughs> you know what I mean Ugh, I can't even get on the bus what's wrong with me right now Ugh, ugh, ugh. Brookhaven bus why are you so hard to get on to Good morning, students. Now, remember, keep our hands to ourselves, all that stuff. I can tell I go to school. I go to school. Hey, what's a little kid doing on the bus? D this isn't for babies. I'm not baby. I'm toddler. I, I go to school like a big girl. Well, I, don't, I can't believe there are any babies on this bus. This is total... Whoa, you that bad wood. You said Oh my gosh, a toddler just swore! <laughs> oh man, I think it might be a bad influence. Wait a minute, why, why is my baby sister here? Good question, why are you here? I am not go to school like my big sisters. Um, you can't go to school because you're not five yet. And then you start kindergarten, you're not in middle school. Well this is total... Oh my gosh! Did you just say what I think you said? I think she did. Baby Kira, where'd you hear that word? I think it's a total. Oh my gosh, go to the principal's office right now! She'll call your mother and, and work this all out. Daisy, where's the rest of the class? They're still getting off the school bus. Oh my goodness, Baby Kira, you're gonna be grounded for life. Ah, oh, there's a student in my office already? School just started! Wait, I can't even see the student. Who is that? <gasps> it's a baby. I got baby. I toddle. Why everybody call me a baby when I toddle? This is. B oh my gosh! <gasps> Wait a minute. Aren't you Laura Acker's daughter? I am not Acker's daughter. Oh my gosh! I better call her on the phone right now. Mmm, this coffee's delicious. Finally, a moment of peace just to myself. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh no, I wonder who that could be. Hello, Miss Ackers, is this you? Yes, this is Mrs. Acker, how can I help you? Well, um, this is the school calling. Uh, this is the principal. Oh great, what did Molly do now? No, no, Molly didn't do anything. Well, yet yeah, anyway, the day is young. Well, what are you calling me for then? Did Daisy get another amazing grade in science class? No, it's about your other daughter. My other daughter? I don't have another daughter in school. You must be calling the wrong person. No, your littlest daughter, Kira. Oh, <laughs> what are you calling about her for? She's in my office. She's been saying, <laughs> What? She didn't say that. She's right here. I, I just put her down for a nap. I'm just going to run into the room and look and make sure. Oh, my gosh. She's not here. Oh, I am so sorry. She wanted to follow her big sisters to school today, and apparently she succeeded. I feel like a terrible mom right now. Don't worry, Mrs. Acker. It happens more often than you think. I'll keep her here in my office until you can come pick her up. And you might want to tell her that she can't say uh, in school. All right, I don't know where she learned that word. It was, certainly wasn't from me. Maybe her father. Baby Kira, you still have a few years left to go before you, um, you know, come to school. Baby Kira, there you are. Oh my goodness, you're in so much trouble. I can't want to go to school like a big girl like I go to school. Because, honey, you're not five years old yet. What this is? Oh my gosh, you are not allowed to say that, baby Kira. Where did you hear that? I like find this boy on your bus. He said a lot. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. My daughter was so naughty today. Oh, I was hoping you'd be more like Daisy instead of Molly. Well, I can see my work here is done. So, um, well, good luck. Thank you, Principal. Come on, baby Kira, it's time to go home. I'm not going, I stay here forever. 
are. I can tell that you're definitely gonna be more like Molly. Oh, 